when we look at the social media channels of the people running AJ oh. Plus, it becomes very clear that they have an ideological axe to grind. Yeah, because Qatari, AJ Plus is run mostly by, not by Qataris themselves. Like they're, they're completely been, um, you know, given, you know, it is run by Americans mostly and all other Westerners. These are pro LGBT, pro secular, pro liberal, pro. Here's another one, Sana. Oh, actually, this one is seems like an Arabic name. Um, where's the location? Okay, ACLU is changing. Black trans, Black Lives Matter. Hope to see more co uh, compilation of. Yeah, so this he has a problem with this because it's trans. It's like he's like he's he's like showing how people that work at AJ Plus they're pro trans. They're pro. What was the other one? Pro-gay, pro-secular, pro-liberal, pro-feminist activist. Feminist, oh no. Who want to change the Muslim world and change Muslim consciousness to make it aligned with these kinds of Western secularist identity politics. Here's another person that works at AJ. He, he does some good research. Look, this one is not blurred. Um, so if, if there's any female, peop, um, you know, People in the live chat, any any woman, Soha, Soha, lower your gaze, lower your gaze right now because Daniel Hagaju did not blur this guy. Look at, I mean, come on, guys, look at his arms. You see his arms? Anybody in live chat? We shouldn't. He should have blurred this because why is he blurring images for us? But he's not careful enough to blur the images for anyone, any girls watching. Soha, good job, lower your gaze, okay? Don't look. Don't look until we go to the next frame. <laughs> like it's so, so <laughs> Okay, good job, sir. Good job. Who is this guy? This guy works at AJ Plus saying, mix emotions today, celebrating. Uh, oh, yeah, gay marriage again. Oh, no, gay marriage. Heartbroken by the news from Tunisia, Kuwait. Let's love overcome hate. What's so ironic is that young Muslims in the West are actually influenced by this kind of content from AJ+. That's exactly what, why Qatar is funding it, because young people in the, in the West are influenced by it. They're actually doing very good uh, at growing. We usually think that it's Western media that threatens the Iman of our youth. But in this Iman means faith for people that don't know. Like, he's basically saying that um most muslims think like oh we need to protect ourselves from western media because that is like um you know danger to muslims iman but he's like nope it's not just western media so also qatari, qatari media In this case it's qatari funded media that's doing that job just imagine rather than western governments funding media that's indoctrinating muslims around the world you have muslim governments that are creating media that's indoctrinating muslims in the west now i can see aj plus trying to defend itself by saying that it's just covering the news mm. and the news no okay if anybody co if anybody follows aj plus they know that they're not just covering the news they openly say they openly defend i mean come on guys like they're not that would not be a good defense i mean not that here look aj plus okay the, if you look at their videos okay they're telling you look at this this lady by the way this lady is hot she's hot like they're anti-trump anti pro-leftist stuff i don't i'm i'm in love with this girl by the way i don't know i actually f started stalking her social media after i saw her on social media but she's like a social like so like heavily socialist like very anti-capitalist right and actually one reason why i keep subscribing to them is because i keep waiting for her videos um how would we think about like this girl okay like she if you watch her videos very 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 woke stuff okay anti-trump again not that there's anything wrong with being anti-trump but very ca pro cancel culture pro pro socialism it's a basically an anti-right wing uh, youtube channel right they almost have one mil oh my god they're growing really fast they used to have nothing now they're very f they're getting to um 
1 million subscribers pretty soon, right? So it's mostly like pro BLM stuff. Um, this Iranian guy is works for AJ Plus, ch teaching people about Iranian culture. But yeah, so if you and th that's the reason, you know, the reason why they can't cover the stuff on their Al Jazeera itself because Al Jazeera is supposed to be like at least it's supposed to look like it's unbiased. It cannot be this heavily biased, like actively pushing for certain politics and call yourself a news channel. That's why they cons they moved it to AJ Plus. So he's saying that AJ Plus might defend itself by saying we're just covering the news, but no, that wouldn't be their defense because they don't, they're not even pretending that on AJ Plus that they're just covering the news. They openly push for saying certain ideas are bad and other ideas are good. News often in... Oh my God, look at this comment. Armin, Armin, you are unusually handsome today. Please blur your face so I won't have to lower my gaze and miss your content. Okay, are, are you a man or a woman? Involves LGBT, drugs, abortion, prostitution, and so forth. But this excuse doesn't fly for two reasons. First, AJ Plus is not merely covering these things. Mm. It's actively celebrating them. And secondly, AJ... It's not just celebrating them. If you watch their videos, they actually say these ideas are bad and horrible. Like, they, they're, you know, they're openly pro-socialism and anti-Trump. Plus is often ahead of the curve in celebrating things that are on the fringe of Western culture. They were promoting gay marriage way before it was legalized, even in the United States. They're promoting mm, nice. drugs when drugs are still banned in many parts of the United States. Okay, I don't know what it means by promoting drugs, but I remember, I don't know if this was AJ Plus or Al Jazeera, but I remember Vancouver was one of the leading cities uh, when it came to providing safe places for people to use drugs so that they don't um, use, they don't share needles and stuff like that. Like Vancouver in Canada was one of the leading cities that basically made it so that people who wanted to uh, use drugs, they go and there's a nurse watching to make sure you don't overdose, that they clean the environment for you, that they provide needles, uh, clean needles for you, and they watch you use it, and they're right there. And, and also, because you have to go there, like a lot of people go there to do this stuff, they provide their own, like they come with their own drugs, but they are there to provide you with the facilities. But they also get leave with like help to how to like, maybe beat the addiction, right? So they get exposed to free ways for them to get off of the drug because since they're there the government might help them and the studies the reviews of that showed that it was a major success like a lot of people like were against it because they thought that the government is basically not funding uh, providing places for people to use drugs and it's actually going to promote drug use um and it didn't and it actually helped a lot of people get access to resources to maybe overcome their addiction and it also um, helped the spread of lower the spread of disease um, because you know and also lower the number of people that overdosed so it was a major success and I remember I learned that even though it was happening right next to me I didn't know about it until Al Jazeera covered it States. They promote sex work when in reality sex work is banned in the United States and many other countries of the world. They're pushing LGBT in countries that have laws against this type of behavior. So this is not just news coverage. This is promotion. This is pro how smoking weed may actually help kids in school. What? Okay. Oh, don't. Okay. I'm not. I don't like this title. Kids. Okay. Look at this guy in this cover. This dude is not a kid. Look, he's in, he has he has a beard. Okay, this is not okay. AJ Plus. Okay, <laughs> I think I think I want to introduce some hudud here. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit of Sharia is needed here. Okay, kids. How smoking weed may actually help keep kids in school. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm with, for first, I'm with Daniel on this one. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, this yeah, exactly. The too woke for Ermin. I don't know. I think we finally found the, too much now. I, yeah, I think we finally found the red line that we, the the line that we're not willing to cross. Daniel, yeah, I'm with you on this one. This is too much. Smoking weed may actually help kids. In kids, how is this? Guys, I, my Twitter account got suspended. How this? I'm pretty sure this vi is violating some of Twitter's actual guidelines. Oh wow, we got another super sticker. Thank you so much, Secular Proto. Is this because of my endorsement of Sharia law? Thank you so much. That's one something, one some currency. But thank you so much. Okay, guys. First of all, yeah, you shouldn't promote any substances like this to kids. Second of all. This dude over here, that's not a kid. Hmm. Propaganda. This is cultural engineering. 